There is often confusion over the meaning of sheltering. During this video, we will differentiate between shelter in place, lockdown, and sheltering for inclement weather and other emergencies or disasters. Gasoline tanker truck pulling a trailer. State troopers believe the driver veered off the roadway, slamming into a concrete abutment, triggering the if a chemical or hazardous materials release occurs, local authorities and emergency response agencies may determine that those in the immediate area must shelter in place. In the school setting, shelter in place is initiated to protect students and staff from chemical, biological, or radiological contaminants released into the environment. Shelter in place means to immediately take shelter in your pre-designated area and isolate the inside environment from the environment outside. The goal of shelter in place is to limit exposure to toxic and dangerous fumes or contaminants. Follow the steps that are outlined in your school's shelter in place procedures. A lockdown is initiated to isolate students and staff from dangers that may occur in the vicinity of a school, on campus, or inside a school. Depending on the situation, an administrator or designee may initiate a modified or full lockdown. A modified lockdown is initiated to isolate students and staff from potential dangers outside the school. Follow the steps in your school's modified lockdown procedures to ensure the safety and security of students and staff. A full lockdown is initiated to isolate students and staff from immediate dangers. These dangers may include armed intruders, suspicious trespassers, on-campus shootings, bomb threats, snipers, or other threats of violence. An administrator or designee will initiate a full lockdown. Once the alert is issued, follow your school's specific procedure for a full lockdown. Contact your local law enforcement and response agencies for assistance in developing these procedures. Taking shelter for reasons other than sheltering in place and lockdown may be required during periods of severe weather such as a winter storm, during or after an earthquake, or for any other emergency. Children may be required to remain in school until reunification with parents can be safely completed. When advised, activate your school's emergency plan, then wait for further instructions from the district or local authorities. Call 911. Notify the district and communicate school status. Retrieve your classroom emergency kit. Recall students from outside. Close and lock all exterior doors and windows. Sweep hallways and non-classroom areas. Turn off the HVAC system. Turn off the lights. Close windows and blinds. Seal windows, vents, and air systems. Do not use the telephone system. Stop activities. Stay quiet, low, and out of sight. Place your red or green card in the designated area. Monitor your activities by email. Wait for the all clear.